Today, as we read, we're going to be thinking about these comprehension check questions so that after you read, you'll be ready to answer them. So first, I'm going to read them to you. Number one says, how does Maddie act like a good friend at the playground? How does Maddie act like a good friend at the playground? She tells bullies to leave Sophia alone. She helps Sophia up when she trips. Or she encourages Sophia to keep trying to climb the wall. Which one of those things happens in our story? Number two, why doesn't Maddie want Sophia to tell anyone about her fridge? Maddie thinks she will get in trouble. Maddie is embarrassed. Maddie knows mom is bringing groceries home that night. Why do you think Maddie doesn't want Sophia to tell anyone about her fridge? Number three, why does Sophia keep asking her mom if food is good for kids? At the dinner table, Sophia keeps asking, is fish good for kids? Is burritos good for kids? Is it because she wants to sneak healthy food to Maddie in her backpack? Is it because she doesn't want to eat anything that was healthy? Is it because she thinks that mom should make them better food? Which one of those things is the reason that Sophia keeps asking her mom if the food is good for kids? Number four, Sophia's family takes a bunch of groceries over to Maddie's family. Is that true or false? Number five says, how can you connect Maddie's family's situation to events that happen in the world every day? So since Maddie doesn't have food in her fridge, how can you connect that to things that happen in the world every day? We kind of talked about this a little bit when we were talking about being charitable in the first lesson this week, okay? So go ahead and listen for those answers as we read. And then after the story is over, I will read these again and you can answer them as I read. When Sophia and Maddie played at the park, they stretched their toes to the sky. They climbed to the top of the ladder and flew off the end of the slide. They stayed until the buildings grew long shadows and even the taxis stopped honking. Let's play on the climbing wall, Maddie said. No way, Sophia said. I can't reach. Yes way. Maddie scooted up to the top of the wall. Your turn. Sophia put a foot on the bottom rock, grabbed with one hand and stretched. But she couldn't reach the next hold. Sophia's stomach growled. I give up. Let's get a snack. No way, Maddie said. Let's stay here. Yes way, Sophia ran to Maddie's building and raced up the stairs. Wait, Maddie ran after her. Maddie was the best climber, but Sophia was the fastest runner. Sophia swung open the door to Maddie's fridge. What have you got? We have milk, Maddie said, and I'm saving it for Ryan because he's still little. Why doesn't your mom go to the store, Sophia asked. We don't have enough money, but what if you get hungry? We have some bread, Maddie said. I guess I'll go home to eat, Sophia said. Please don't tell anyone, Maddie said. Okay, promise, promise. Sophia ran home past the bookstore and the grocery store. The sun went down behind the buildings and took all the colors with it. Good timing, Mom said. Dinner's almost ready. Luis was wrestling on the floor with Pepito. Sophia opened the refrigerator door and Pepito peeked inside. Sophia's fridge was full of milk and eggs and tortillas and lettuce and cheese and jam and salsa and tofu and even half a can of dog food. Here you go, Mom said. Sophia and Luis each had a plate of fish and rice. Mom had a plate of fish and rice. Even Pepito had his bowl of dog food with a little bit of fish and rice. Maddie and Ryan only had some bread and a small carton of milk. Sophia couldn't tell mom. She had to keep her promise to Maddie. Not fish again, Louise said. I want cheesy pizza bombs. Cheesy pizza bombs are a treat, mom said. Fish is a good source of protein. Is fish good for kids, Sophia asked. Yes, mom smiled. Fish is perfect for kids. That night, Sophia had an idea. Oh, yuck, Maddie said the next day. Oh, Sophia said, double yuck. Fish may be good for kids, but fish are not good for backpacks. After school, Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia got there first, but Maddie scrambled past her to the top of the wall. Sophia stretched and stretched. Keep trying, Maddie said, you'll get it. I can't, Sophia jumped down. It's too high. That night, Sophia, Luis, and mom ate frittata. Pepito had his dog food with a little bit of frittata. Daddy and Ryan still had an empty refrigerator. Sophia couldn't ask for help. That would break her promise. She had to try again. Are eggs good for kids? Sophia asked. 
Not as good as cheesy pizza bombs, Louise said. Cheesy pizza bombs are a treat, Mom said. Eggs are good for you. After dinner, Sophia packed eggs for Maddie and Ryan. I wonder how that's going to turn out, my friends. Yuck, Maddie said. Double yuck, Sophia said. Eggs may be good for kids, but they are not good for backpacks. Yeah. Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia won again, but Maddie shot past her to the top of the wall. Sophia grabbed one hold, reached for the next, and came down with a thump. That happens sometimes, Maddie called. This is impossible, Sophia said. Keep trying, Maddie said. You'll get it. That night, Sophia, Luis, and Mom had burritos. Pepito had his dog food with a little bit of burrito and no salsa. Maddie and Ryan still had an empty fridge. Sophia wished she hadn't promised Maddie. Are burritos good for kids, Sophia asked. Burritos are very good for you, Mom said. Not as good as, Luis started to say. You should pay more attention to nutrition like your sister, Mom said. Next morning, Sophia put two burritos in her backpack, along with tortillas, beans, cheese, and even some milk. Um, no thanks, Maddie said. You haven't even looked, Sophia said. Is it fish, Maddie asked. No. Is it eggs? No. Is it gross? I don't know, Sophia said. Maddie shook the backpack. Something sloshed. Let's look together, Maddie said. One, two, three, go. Burritos are good for kids and good for backpacks. Do you want some milk, Sophia asked. Thanks, Maddie said, but I think I'll save it for Ryan. Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia won as usual and tried to climb. You can do it, Maddie said. Take my hand. Woohoo! I made it to the top, Sophia shouted. We're the tallest kids in the park, Maddie said. Thanks for helping me, Maddie. I couldn't do it alone. Maddie shrugged. That's what friends are for. After they finished playing, Sophia walked home past the bookstore and the grocery store. Her own fridge was full of milk and juice and chicken and yogurt and bread and carrots and even a half a can of dog food. She thought and thought and thought. Maddie's fridge only had two tortillas, a cup of beans, and a bit of cheese, and a little more milk than before. Sophia didn't want to break her promise, but she couldn't help Maddie alone. Sophia told. She hoped Mom, oh, she hoped Maddie wouldn't be mad. I'm glad you told me, Mom said. Let's see what we can do together. They loaded grocery bags with milk, flour, chicken, carrots, sugar, oil, and even frozen meat and vegetables. Luis pulled his package of cheesy pizza bombs out of the freezer. He thought and thought and thought some more. Then he put his cheesy pizza bombs in Maddie and Ryan's bag for a treat, he said. At Maddie's apartment, the moms talked. Luis and Ryan played. Sophia and Maddie ran to the park. You broke your promise, Maddie said. I'm sorry, Sophia said. Are you mad? A promise is important, Maddie said. You're more important, Sophia said. I wanted you to have milk too, Maddie smiled. Are we still friends, Sophia asked. Always, Maddie said. Double always, Sophia said. Cheesy pizza bombs, Luis yelled. Our moms made cheesy pizza bombs for a treat. Sophia and Maddie raced up the stairs. Sophia slowed down so they could run together. That's what friends are for. Number one says, how does Maddie act like a good friend at the playground? How does Maddie act like a good friend at the playground? She tells bullies to leave Sophia alone. She helps Sophia up when she trips. Or she encourages Sophia to keep trying to climb the wall. Which one of those things happens in our story? Number two, why doesn't Maddie want Sophia to tell anyone about her fridge? Maddie thinks she will get in trouble. Maddie is embarrassed. Maddie knows mom is bringing groceries home that night. Why do you think Maddie doesn't want Sophia to tell anyone about her fridge? Number three, why does Sophia keep asking her mom if food is good for kids? At the dinner table, Sophia keeps asking, is fish good for kids? Is burritos good for kids? Is it because she wants to sneak healthy food to Maddie in her backpack? Is it because she doesn't want to eat anything that was healthy? Is it because she thinks that mom should make them better food? Which one of those things is the reason that Sophia keeps asking her mom if the food is good for kids? Number four, Sophia's family takes a bunch of groceries over to Maddie's family. Is that true or false? Number five says, how can you connect Maddie's family's situation to events that happen in the world every day? 
So since Manny doesn't have food in her fridge, how can you connect that to things that happen in the world every day? We kind of talked about this a little bit when we were talking about being charitable in the first lesson this week. 